Welcome to Double A Comics. I'm Aaron Baldwin, and I want to invite you on a journey. Join me in the comic book community pastime of a CGC unboxing. For those of you who don't know, an unboxing is where I show you my newly graded books, inform you how I know better than the company that just graded them, and then tell you at the end of the video how I'm sending out more books to said company. So today we're going to start with the Marvel books and then we're going to move into DC. And before we get started on that, I want to give a quick shout out to Gary Kendra over at Impressive Comics. I'll leave all his information below, his Facebook, his Instagram, his website. Gary is exceptional. I call him the mayor and you should definitely reach out to him. So here we go. All right, this is the first book. This is uh, Guardians of the Galaxy number four. I had this book for a little bit. I think it's a 9698. Let's see. And it's a 98. It's a really sweet book. Um, this one my probably one of my favorite Campbell variants, to be honest. It's got Gamora on the cover. It's dope. Moving on. Some more Marvel for you. This is Spider-Gwen 24. This is Gwen Stacy Becomes Gwenum. I had this for a bit and then it shot up. So uh, I sent it in and 9-8, uh, sweet, white pages. This is a modern book, not too shocking. I ordered it directly from the website, so it's not really that surprising. This is another Spider-Gwen 24. Um, I actually got this one off eBay. So this is the Virgin cover, the D variant, again, Campbell variant. And let's see. Yep, 9-8, that's dope. This is a sweet cover. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this yet, but it's sweet. This is another Campbell variant. I know, Campbell, we're, we'll get through this. I've only got like maybe one or two left. This is Amazing Spider-Man, Renew Your Vows. This is just a variant cover. Other than that, there's nothing crazy special about this. And 9-8, which is awesome. Really cool. Let's see, what else we got? This is Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man number one. This is first appearance of Rebecca London and The Mason. This is the KRS Comics Art Germ cover. So I bought this one offline. Let's see. It's a 9-8. Boom. That's awesome. That's a really dope cover. That one I'm going to keep. All right. This is another spider Gwen cover. This is the Four Color Grails edition. I really like this cover. Just think it's awesome. Let's see. 9-8. Awesome. This book's sweet. Yeah, this one, definitely PC for a while. Let's see. This is Amazing Spider-Man 4. This is Cindy Moon Becomes Silk. Uh, this is the Ramos variant cover. Dope cover. I actually got this a few years ago now. It's definitely gone up since then. So let's see. 9-8. Really fantastic. And you're killing it, Gary. This is going well for you. Again, Amazing Spider-Man 4. I had two of these. Again, I've had both of these for several years. So let's see. 9-8. It's really awesome. So one of these I will keep, and one of these I'm going to end up selling on the hobby. But yeah, this is dope. I really like this cover. It's fantastic. And now, now we're on to the DC portion of our show. 
Oh, so this is a good one. This is the Wonder Woman 38. This is the Finch cover. I actually got this online. This is an eBay find. Got it for a pretty decent price. Let's see. Nine, six. It's fantastic. This is a great book and I'm a big Finch guy. So this is dope. Oh, I'm sorry. I lied. One more Spider-Man. Uh, this is a Superior Spider-Man Campbell variant. Last one, guys, I swear. So I actually bought this one graded. This was a 9-0. Yeah, I bought this as a 9-0. I sent it in. I had Gary crack it, press it, and send it back in. So let's see. 9-4. All right. I'll definitely take that gray bump. That's awesome. It's really fantastic. This is The Killing Joke. This is a first print. I thought this was flawless, to be honest, when I sent it in. This was like the nicest cover I had seen in one of these. That's why I sent it. Let's see, let's find out. Nine, six, okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for what I found it for. And again, I sent this in with surrounding all the Joker hype with the movie. I thought this was a book that could do well. I don't think the Joker's going anywhere, and this is a really famous story. Happy to have this in the collection. It's fantastic. To partner with that, this is the Year of the Villain number one. Again, Bolin cover. Just thought it was great and would be a great partner for The Killing Joke. I wanted to have them both. Let's see. Nine, eight. All right, that's awesome. A really great cover. Yeah, not much to say about this. It's sweet. Bolin does, just does fantastic work, so he's really great. Now we've got kind of some old school Batman going on. I mean, not super old school, but like older. This is Batman 357. This is the first full appearance of Killer Croc. Then you got a Jason Todd appearance. So, uh... And there's all these, I've got a few different Jason Todd books actually, so we'll check those out. And let's see, nine four, that's awesome. I'm definitely gonna keep this for a while. That's a great grade and yeah, I, I just, I really love the cover of this book. So I'm working on a Batman run, so this is gonna stay. Oh, here, another Jason Todd action. This is Batman 635, this is first Jason Todd as Red Hood. Yeah, so 635, let's see. Nine, eight, nice. This is awesome. Yeah, I told Gary not to tell me what I got on these and he said I did well, he was not lying. Oh, this is Batman uh, 655. First appearance of Damien. It's a cameo. Yeah, this is the Kubert variant. I don't actually, I got to meet Kubert at uh, New York Comic Con this year. He's awesome. But this is the variant, let's see. Nine, six. A great book. I'm happy to have that in the collection. And what do we got here? Ooh, this is a good one. This is Batman 679. This is a really dope variant cover. I actually waited to get this book for a couple years. I just couldn't see it in a price I wanted. I waited, I waited, and then I was able to snag this one. Yeah, so I'm really excited. Let's see what we got. All right, 9.8. Yeah, this is a dope, uh, this is a dope book. I'm really excited about that. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I sent in two of these. I really like this cover. So I literally waited for three years and then uh, I got two copies within a month of each other, both really good prices. So sometimes that's how it goes, being patient pays off. So again, 679, here we go. 9.8, oh, that's so awesome. I'm stoked about that. That's dope. So I'll, I'll keep one and I'm probably gonna sell, probably sell the other one on Instagram or something like that. Yeah, this is awesome. It's really dope. All right, what else we got? Oh yeah, this is Batman 21. This is the combo back pack variant. So the poly bag obviously gets removed because it gets graded. I've actually heard stories of people getting them graded or trying to get them graded with the poly bag on. 
Duke Thomas. I believe it's his first appearance. This was another one that was in a slab. I had Gary crack it and send it back in. So let's see, it was a 9-4. 9-6. All right, I'll, I'll take it. It's a bump. It's a bump and I'll take it. And it actually, I mean, you can't see it, but there used to be like this weird piece of, I don't know, there was something in the middle, some kind of smudge or something that was all messed up. So he definitely got rid of that. I don't see it. I mean, this looks like a near flawless book to me, but again, I'm not CGC. So yeah. All right, what do we got? Oh, this, this, I was, I'm super excited about this actually. So I sent this into Gary, he cracked it, pressed it, and then sent it back in. This was an 8-5, so let's see. Ooh, 9-8. Yo, that's awesome. Yo, Gary, I appreciate that, man. That's love right there. That's so much love. Look at, look at that. It's beautiful. Um, Snyder and Capolo goodness. This is an absolutely dope cover. I am keeping this. This is definitely personal collection. This is awesome though. It's really, really fantastic. So it's great. All right. This is Batman Adventures 12. Um, I bought this from my local comic shop. I thought it, I thought nine six, if I was fortunate, we'll see. Um, ooh, nine two. That's still okay though. I've had a really good run. So I, I really don't have anything to complain about. 9496 would have been a lot better, but this is still sweet. And the other books have been amazing, so I'm certainly not going to complain. And this is, uh, I mean, presents really well. It's a really nice cover. So, yeah. All right, I have two left. Uh, this is just a fun one. I just really like this cover. It's a Lee Weeks. I don't know. I like Weeks. I think he's underrated. King Story, but Batman Elmer Fudd. This is just sweet, so let's see. Nine, eight, yes, it's awesome. It's really sick. It's dope, it's a sweet cover. I'm going to enjoy that. Another personal collection book. I thought about trying to have him sign it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet. I may or may not, but for now, I'm gonna enjoy this. All right, I've got one left. This is a, a special one. I'm betting that a lot of you haven't seen this book before, actually. This is an independent book. It's one from one of my favorite current series. I think the art is incredible. I found this online. So it's Isola number one, but it's the convention edition. It had this huge crease right across the front. And when I sent it to Gary, I said, if you can get that crease out, I think it'll be a really nice book, but... So let's see what happened. If you guys haven't read this series, you should definitely check it out. There's a, there's a trade paperback out right now, but this is definitely, the art is incredible. Let's see, 9.8, yes. Ah, oh, that's so awesome. Again, this is another personal collection book. I just, I love this series. This is sweet, I'm gonna enjoy this. And that's it, 22 books. You cleaned me out. Again, Gary Kendra over at Impressive Comic Books. He cleaned and pressed all of these and sent them in for me. Really professional, really courteous. His communication's unbelievable. I will leave his Instagram and his Facebook and his website all um, in the description below so you can find him. You should definitely check him out. Um, and if you do, you know, you can tell him I sent you. That won't do anything at all. But, you know, it's a conversation starter and, you know. People are shy, right? My Instagram is double A comics. That's double A comics. I'll leave it in the description down below. So if you enjoyed this video, I would greatly appreciate your support. Obviously like and subscribe. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Later. And I know what you're thinking. Why are you wearing a tie? Well, it's our first time and I wanted to make a good impression.